Take your temperature. What's your pain from one to ten? Let's see if we can make you feel better. Let's help with your baby. This band aid can cover where it hurts. Tell me how you hurt yourself. I fell on my school, it won't wait. Then I walked back to my mom, it started bleeding. So I had to wash some of the blood out. So I put a brand aid on, and then it started to feel better. Let's listen to your heart. It sounds like a healthy heart. My arm hurt. We can heal it. We'll patch you up. How are you hurt? Suddenly fell on the playground? I think we need a bag of ice. We got you covered. Have you ever needed to go to the doctor? They heal your hurts. They cover your wounds. Jesus can use doctors to help us feel better. I was jumping off a balance house on the roofy things, and then I I lost my balance, and then I broke my arm, so I couldn't move it forwards. This is my playground where I took out the pins. I had to have a giant white white band-aid wrapped around my foot. Help it heal. 
and it was bleeding and I was like, my hand started getting covered in blood and my dad put liquid band-aid on and I was screaming to dad. Can a band-aid cover up all your hood? <gasps> Does a band-aid last forever? Isaiah 53. By his wounds we are healed. Jesus had to die for us. Adam and Eve went off the path of God's command for them. We have followed Adam and Eve in our sinful path. We are healed through Jesus. He had wounds in his hand and feet. I'm so glad that Jesus heals us of sin. We are thankful Jesus covered our wounds. As we serve Jesus, sometimes we mess up, but God always forgives us. We use our healthy body to serve Jesus, like taking care of animals. We take care of others. We can talk to Jesus when we hurt. Let's pray together. Jesus, you were nailed on the cross for us. You bring healing to us. You healed us from sin. Thank you for loving us all men. Jesus heals us on the cross. to India with the Schaefer. What's all this? My wife and I lived in India for three years. And these are some of the things that we got in India. Now, you know what this is, right? Yeah, India has a lot of elephants. And so they carve elephants out of wood. And I've got a number of them. I've got a lot more at home. And elephants are part of Indian culture. What is this? Well, these are carved out of ivory. We wanted to collect some of the things that people in India made. And they made, uh, you can see that this is an Indian man who has what on his shoulder? You know what that is? A monkey. That's a monkey. And a lot of these show what Indian life was like. This is a picture of a woman, and she's carrying a basket on her head. And that's very common in India. The women wear baskets with oh, produce or, or vegetables and even water. They carry it on their head. Ooh, cool. 
What are these pictures of? Well, I'll tell you. Now, this picture is on the plains of India. And this is a rice paddy, and they're preparing the field to plant rice. Mr. Schieffer, what did you do in India? My wife and I went to India to teach. We taught the children of missionaries who were serving in India, bringing the message of Jesus to the people. And it was a marvelous experience. We lived in the mountains. It was beautiful. These are some pictures. This is a picture in the mountains of terraces that the Indian people had built over hundreds and hundreds of years where they took the mountain and flattened parts of it. And you can see the terraces and they would plant rice and other crops in those terraces so that they had food. And do people know about Jesus in India? Well, it's what some people in India do know who Jesus is and that Jesus died for them. But most people do not know about Jesus. Yes, we want them to know about Jesus. Speak English. Do the people speak English? Oh, well, in India, because India at one time was ruled by the British Empire, a lot of people speak English if they are educated. But most people in India do not speak English. They speak a language, most of them speak Hindi, which is a very different language. But in India, there are literally hundreds of different languages. The place where we live, the people took, spoke a language called Tamil. Uh, the Bible in Hindi, in Tamil, in Gujarati, and in so many other languages in India, so that the people have God's word in their own language. And when they hear the Bible, the God's word in their own language, that makes a big impression on them. And they learn that they are loved by Jesus and that Jesus came and died for them and that he rose again. And many of them believe that Jesus is their savior. The Bible just like we do. Yeah. Look how we're spreading God's word. Wow, we have 40 treasures. Yes, John, St. Paul. Please stand. Sing with us, go. Amen. St. Paul, Jesus loves you. Go in peace and serve the Lord.